Good evening, church. Good evening to our online viewers. We are glad you're here. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Um, we're going to pray. Let's stand in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh in us this evening as we gather here to magnify your name, to worship you, to have fellowship with you this afternoon, Lord, to hear your word, to do your will. We acknowledge your presence and your purpose with us here tonight, this evening. And we said thank you for your presence and your purpose because you said where two or three are gathered, you are here with us. And we thank you this evening. 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 Have your way with us. Have your way in us this afternoon. Let's thank God. Let's thank God for the preservation of our church. Let's thank God. Hola la maca seke mola la ba siki kai se hola la maca sheke mola la ba ka seke hola la maca seke mola la ba ka sheke hola la maca seke mola la ba ka se hola la maca seke mola la ba ka seke mola la ba ka seke hola la maca seke mola la ba ka sheke mola la ba ki siki kai seke Hola la maca sheke mola la baca seke. Hala la maca sheke mola la baca seke mola la baca se. Hola la ma siki kai se le la la seke mola la. Shiki kai seke mola la baca se. Hala la moko sheke mola la baca seke. Hola la maca seke mola la baca sheke mola la baca seke. Hola la maca sheke mola la baca seke. Hola la maca sheke mola la baka seke hola la maka sheke kai seke mola la baka seke let's thank god for the global go growth of our church oko seke mola la baka seke ala la maka ka seke let's thank god for the successful oko sheke mola work that was done in houston oko sheke as we broke out last weekend let's thank god for that because seke mola la baka sheke kai seke mola la baka seke Hola la maca sheke mola la baca seke. Hola la maca seke mola la baca seke mola la baca seke. Hola la maca seke mola la baca seke. Let's thank God for sheke la la. Siki kai seke mola la baca seke. For winning souls, I can seke mola la baca seke. So for remaining unmovable, unshakable, and unstoppable in our way, in our way, and our walk. With God, let's thank God that we are here to do His will, His perfect will. Let's thank God for the word this afternoon as it comes this afternoon. Let it come with clarity and precision. Let it be an on time word, a rhema word. Word, a word for now. Oko sheke mula la baka seke mula la baka seke. A word that would change hearts. A word that would set the captive free. A word oko sheke mula la baka seke kala la maka seke. Hula la maka sheke mula la baka seke. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for miracle signs and wonders. Aka sheke mula la baka seke that will be manifested manifested here tonight father god we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you for the man of god that is bringing forth the word tonight we thank you for our own pastor olu we thank you for him lord we thank you for him we pray that you bless him lord you bless him and continue to equip him in the mighty name of jesus Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. Oko sheke mula la baka seke. Ala la maka seke mula la baka seke. As the word come, oko sheke mula la baka seke. Let it not go back void, but go forth to accomplish that for which it was sent. We come against anything that would try to shake sticks. 
stop the word or forsake it, choke the word. We come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your plans against us will not stand, neither will it come to pass. We are moving forward in spite of the weapon form against us will prosper. And we thank you, Lord. 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 We gave you grace. We gave you grace. We gave you praise. We gave you praise. We, gave you praise. we thank you, Lord, for grace. We thank you, Lord, for grace. Second Corinthians 12, 9 says, could, you, could I have Second Corinthians 12, 9? And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities with the power of Christ that rests upon me. We thank you, Lord, for grace. We thank you, Lord, for grace. We thank you, Lord, for grace, because you said your grace is sufficient. It's a free gift. It's nothing that we did. It's nothing that we did. But you just gave us that free gift of grace. And we thank you this afternoon. We thank you this afternoon. We thank you this afternoon. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. And we said thank you. Thank you, and thank you. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. We have prayed this afternoon. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, yesterday, before we have our seat, yesterday, I was privileged to have... Uh, Minister Deo, uh, Jesse told me, all the way from California, came into the hall and did some worship and we recorded part of it. I just want us to worship with that song, some of the song. It was really powerful yesterday here. Um, and I just want us to, uh, she came into the hall and it was really beautiful. Let me just worship for five minutes and uh, from there we'll take it up. Are we ready? and his beautiful wife, Pastor Kay Adebayo, for this opportunity you have given to me to be here. It's not a right, it's a privilege. And I want to say thank you, sir and ma'am. Bless the Lord. Come on, somebody, bless the name of the Lord tonight. Welcome your neighbor to church. Say welcome, welcome, welcome. It doesn't matter what the day has been living at the door. I just enjoy the presence of the Lord with me tonight. Hallelujah, Father, we thank you. We thank you for life. We thank you for life. We thank you for life. Only the living, only the living can praise you. We thank you because we are alive and we are well. We thank you, Jesus. We glorify your holy name. Glorious God, merciful God, beautiful God, faithful Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallelujah. Come and lift up your voice and your spirit. And just magnify the Lord with me tonight. Let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name together right now. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord, for the many, many blessings. For your presence, we are grateful, Lord. You are here already, and we just acknowledge you, O oh God. We welcome you, sweet spirit of the living God. We appreciate you, King of Kings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take joy, my King, in what you hear, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hallelujah. Jesus, you've been lifted higher. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We lift you high, oh God. We lift you high, Father. We lift you high. Be lifted high. Hosanna to your name, Father. 
we exalt you we magnify your name we lift your name on high thank you jesus i just want to encourage us tonight let's just pray in the spirit for a while Lehi supa ele de pranushta. Ila dushta hanele. The Bible says when you pray in the spirit, you edify yourself. You encourage your inner man. You build up your inner man. Mahi supra dushta. La pranushta hakele pranushti. Le manus to hum pradushti. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory and honor to you, Father. Praise and adoration to you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Just smile to somebody close to you there. You can have your seat. Just smile. It's nice to see our Texas brethren back. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I really want to appreciate every one of you. You know, as a pastor, there's no greater joy as a pastor when you hear that the people you pastor went somewhere and let me use this slang they don't fall my hand do you understand they don't fall my hand they did not they 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 overperformed hallelujah I really want to appreciate every one of you. Good reports from far and near. I really want to appreciate every one of you. Amen. Uh, we are going to keep the fire burning, right? Amen. I feel like we should be having nail clock prayers now. So everybody will be praying. And when I'm preaching now, the prayer team should go to one room and be praying. <laughs> Praise God. What is good for the geese is also good for the gandas. Amen. Hallelujah. Prayer makes power available. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please note, everyone that went to Texas, I'll be having a very important meeting with all of you on Sunday after the service. Amen. Also, we that were at home, we didn't have a bad time, right? We had a very good time here. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tonight, uh, I want to encourage everybody to have a, a mic should be distributed because tonight, with the short time we have, we're going to just, okay, just, with the short time we have, we're going to have a discussion tonight. How many of you remember uh, I was, before a little break, I was talking about overcoming life's challenges. Amen. And I've not finished that series. And tonight, I'm going to be picking a leaf from that series for us to have a discussion on. Uh, our midweek service is a Bible study. Is that okay, everyone? Where we study the Bible. So the top, the method we are going to be using today is not just me talking. We are going to pick a particular verse, and from that verse we'll have a discussion on that verse. Is that okay, everyone? All right. Okay. Uh, if you remember, or let me just, by the way, of reminding you, we talked about overcoming life challenges, and we talked about the inroad, inroad of trouble. How do trouble come? How do trouble come? Can I get some feedback on how trouble come? Remember the Bible says, let's not be forgetful hearers, 
So please, I want to encourage you. Uh, please, hero one, let me just help you. Number one, I said the enemy has done this. That's the devil. The devil's in road. The enemy comes in uh, to do this. Sometimes it's not because you did something wrong. It's because there's the devil. Is that okay, everyone? And that devil hates you. The Bible calls him your adversary, the devil. Is that okay, everyone? So many times we always think, oh, maybe I did this. Maybe I. Eh, eh. Sometimes you didn't do nothing. The devil is against you. What did Jesus Christ do? Jesus Christ was in the perfect will of God, not because of sin, yet trouble came. Amen. Who can give me another one? The evil in the heart of men. People can hate you for nothing. Is that okay? Because this is so important because many people, I've seen a lot of people, they spend too much time trying to make sure everybody like them. So much energy trying to make sure everybody like them. You are putting the cart before the horse. You should spend energy in making sure you like everybody. Is that okay? You in your heart. The Bible is speaking. It says, as much as it's to you, live with peace with all men. It doesn't mean all men will live with peace with you. But in your own heart, be at peace with all men. Is that okay? Jesus could still live with Judas Iscariot, despite the fact he knows Judas Iscariot is betraying him. Is that okay? Jesus could still stand on that tree and say, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. And yet, these people hate him. And you are called to be imitators of Christ. Is that okay? It is for you. Listen, you can't control how people view you. You can't judge. You can't. We have seen too many people. You spend so much time, so much energy in trying to make sure that someone likes you. I don't know what I did. I, eh, sometimes you didn't do anything. It is their prerogative to hate you. <laughs> They just don't like you. For whatever reason. For whatever reason. God will help them. But it is for you, as a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, as a child of God, to love everyone with the love of Christ. Is that okay? Hallelujah. Who can give us another one? Wrong company. Wrong company. And that's what we're going to be zeroing in today on wrong company. Then after that, we went another one. Disobedience. Disobedience. Disobedience can bring trouble. Another one. Fear. Fear is a big inroad to trouble. What I fear the most as called, fear beckons on evil. Many times, evil is just staying on its own. And your fear will draw evil. Ah, I just feel that this will happen. Tell yourself, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Bible said so. Say it. Don't feel that evil thing will happen to you. Something wrong will happen to you. And lastly, what did we say? How trouble comes. Huh? Yes. Living for righteousness. Because you are living a righteous life, you will be persecuted for righteousness sake. Is that okay, everyone? You will be persecuted for righteousness sake. Because a lot of Christians believe that because they are living right, they won't have trouble. That you are living right, you'll be persecuted for righteousness sake, spiritually and physically. Go to the Middle East, people that are beheaded for righteousness sake. Beheaded. Even my country, 
churches. They will enter churches and shoot people. Having said this. Or blow up the church. I mean shoot people. For righteousness sake, you will be persecuted. Amen? Amen? There was this lady she was she goes out just like you see people sometimes like our, in that junction there pleasant hill and so i saw two men uh uh yesterday they were there with a megaphone and they were preaching the gospel they had a b-board jesus in spanish and in english and they were there so there's this woman that goes out every morning to do such thing and with megaphone encourage people jesus jesus they slaughtered her, put a megaphone on the floor, and killed her then. For righteousness sake. No. If it's America, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, no. God forbid. <laughs> Let me just hold it that way. Amen. For righteousness sake. Amen. That's why some of us, because our nails is still paining us and we have not been healed, we feel oh, what people go through for righteousness sake. Hallelujah. Now, I also talked about how do you take care of this erode? How do you make sure this erode minimize? You cannot totally eradicate, but you can minimize this erode. We talk about the devil's erode and we explained very well that one of the you one of the way to take care of the devil's inroad is by your authority. Stand in your authority in Christ. Number two, the evil heart of men. Amen. You must have a pure heart. It's not them, it's you. If you get angry and begin to fight with the same weapon they are fighting with, you are already defeated. When they hate you, you love them. Is that okay? When they hate you, you love them. Amen. And I remember very well, a question that was asked, how do you love, how do you trust? Love them with the love of Christ. It doesn't mean you should be naive. It means that you should love people with the love of Christ. They don't have to like you. A good example is Joseph and his brothers. Is that Okay. Is Joseph and his brothers. When you, because, uh, write this down. The main target, the main reason why the devil attacks believer is to attack their faith. The main reason why the devil attack believer in any form, whatever the attack is, is to attack your faith. What do I mean by that? Can somebody explain? What do I mean attack your faith? Can somebody explain what that what I mean by that? Can somebody Very important. Very you might be thinking. I even love that word you used. Thinking Godly ways. One of every thought, every attack of the devil is to make you switch your mind from God. Any attack, including the one I went through, any attack of the devil is to help you doubt to stop. And without faith, without faith, what did the Bible say? You get what I'm saying? Every attack is an a, no matter how small or how big, how, how you woke up in the morning and quote and unquote, you woke on the wrong side of the bed. Just know that it's your faith that is being targeted. Not uh, you woke up in the morning, your spouse is just one of those days, <laughs> and you look at yeah, just know that it's not your spouse or that is your faith that is being. 
That's why the devil and the Bible warns. He said, guard your heart with all diligence. Is your faith. You must always be, no matter where it's coming from, no matter it's coming, no matter you check the account, the bill is not well, just know that it is your faith that is being targeted. It's not the account. The account is just a camouflage, is is your faith. It's for you to doubt God and believe your circumstance. And that's the crux of the whole thing, because the devil, which is the thief, knows that he he wants to put a wedge between you and God, and he knows that that wedge is when you doubt God. There goes the slice between there, because you can't please God if you're in doubt. And there it goes, you know, because I, I received my healing. I believed it. And then all of a sudden, I had an ache, and, and I was just like, uh, oh, man, it really didn't work. Ah, and, but I felt well. I, I knew it and I felt it. And I just want, you know, I just did something. I was like, instead of just saying, no, I'm fine. I'm well and just believing it. Just that one, you know, I just turned funny. But instead of saying, no, I'm well and believing it, that, that thought came in. Yes, it's the targets. And that's what it says. Very important. Very important. Very important. And let me let you know, that's why the Bible encouraged that fight the good fight of faith. Hold on to that. This fight, this challenge, is there? Any, uh, as long as you are in this side of eternity, is a daily challenge. Is a daily challenge. Let me tell you. Let me surprise you more. You can even be in church and be fighting that fight. <laughs> hey, let me surprise you more. I can be preaching. And that fight is fighting in your heart. So is the whether you, me, whether I'm standing here, the fight is on. It's always a challenge to your faith. No matter how it's coming, no matter the inroad that these challenges are coming, whether through the devil, whether the evil heart of men, whether wrong company, whether disobedient, whether fear, or living righteous being persecuted for living for righteousness all is to attack your faith so the scripture we want to use please everybody open your bibles to first corinthians 15 verse verse 33 and 34 this is the scripture we're going to be discussing. Just put the two together. I like the two and put them because those are the scriptures we're going to be using today uh, for our Bible study. And we'll just have a study on it. Let's read it together. One, two, three, go. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Awake to righteousness and do not sin. For some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Amen. Our discussion today, remember we are zeroing in on wrong company. How wrong company can bring in challenge and evil and trouble. How wrong company can bring in challenge, evil and trouble. Uh, I want us to pick the first, do not be deceived. Do not what? Be deceived. Evil company corrupts good manner. Passion Bible. Just put the passion. Put the passion Bible. So stop fooling what? Yourself. Stop what? Evil company will corrupt good moral with good morals and character. Stop fooling yourself. Now, literally, what do we understand by that? Someone, please. What do we understand by that? What does what comes up in that verse to you? you know, there's an old adage that says, one bad apple spoils the whole bunch. That comes to my mind right now. Um, parent, many parents say that because if you have something that's not good inside of it, even if you have a lot of good apples there, 
one, it just takes one to um, make the others spoil and go to waste. Um, sometimes even having one person, one character with bad characteristics in a group where let's just say everyone else is good, that one, that influence can persuade others to do things. And we see a lot of that happening these days with some of our young Thank you. When I when I read this, the first thing that comes to mind is don't think you can do do it. You know, don't think you can really stand it, you know, uh, with or uh, um if you are let's say you are the good ones, so to say, and you see people doing drugs, and I say, Oh, when I'm when I'm right there, no, I'm a Christian, you know, I I, I will be able to stand, I'll be able to, you know, say. Uh -uh. they will suck you in if you don't uh, like kind of steer clear of them. They will suck you. Don't think you can stand, you know, when you constantly being around bad people, you know, with bad characters, you know, eventually. Let me, let me, let me hear it from, let me take the birthday boy, John. Let me hear it from you. What do you think? What do you think? Um, I think that you can relate it to um, friends and practically like company, like we were saying. That um, let's say all your friends, like let's let's take in a school setting. In a school setting, let's say that um, even if there's a rule that you shouldn't use your phone in school, people decide to use their phone in school, and everybody's doing it. Even though there's a fact that you might fall from a few weeks, you might not use your phone. Eventually, you're seeing everybody use it. There's no consequence, so you just start using it yourself. That's, That's a very good example. good example. Amen. That's a very good example. All right. Any other person before? Uh, Mike, please. Mike, please. I would say, although trust. It's important to build relationships. Some people are just wicked. Remember that in the back of your mind. People are just wicked. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't get what you were going. You said even though trust said, is... Uh -huh. Although trust, you're building relationships among people. You're among yeah. people and you build relationships. And trusting the relationships is important. Yeah. But always be in mind that people are really Some people wicked. are just not okay. <laughs> they are just... They want to do you in. That's it. Okay, got you. All right. No. Hello. Yeah. Um. You're on. You're on. You're good. You're good. I think that um, anytime you have the need to be like or to please, in order to be a part of something. It's a wide open door for absolutely anything and everything coming down the pipe. Because you will do it for that motive, just for that need, because you want to be accepted. And so you don't even see the danger. And people, I have great compassion for them. From age two to age seven, that was my dilemma. Total dilemma. I knew God when I was four years old. Not just said two, but four. Four. And I could not figure out for the life of me, a life of me, what it did, what I was doing that was wrong. People didn't like me. Women in particular, adults. I didn't have any problem with children. Uh, my age, it was grown-ups who didn't like me. And, it, and I finally figured out it had something to do with what I was saying. Well, I wasn't a disobedient kid. I wasn't bad, and I wasn't saying anything bad. Uh, I went through stop talk. I just stopped talking. That didn't work either. They got mad at me because I didn't talk. Uh, and it was quite a while. I mean, I, had, I went through this period where I told God that I was going to do everything I could to please, to, to do please them and I did and about two minutes into that two minutes two months into that 
I saw that it didn't matter. It didn't matter at all. It didn't matter what I did. I, it wasn't going to be right. And I was seven years old at that point. And I told God, and I don't know how I knew this. Uh, I called a call. I called heaven and record to, to credit that day before God. And I told him I would never, never, ever, ever, ever waste one iota of my time giving a good about what anybody thought. Never. Again. What about what God thought about you, right? Yeah. Good. Uh, and and I was delivered from that. Beautiful. I, I didn't go through that, and I saw other people suffer. I couldn't care less about. I you still see people me. suffer on that regard. Yes. Instead of focusing their attention, listen, listen, listen. Focus your attention on on God. Listen, God is a people person. Let me let me say it doesn't mean because a lot of people take this to isolation. You isolate yourself from people. Oh, I don't. Mm, God is a people person. You must realize that. The more you get close to God, that's why the scripture is talking. He said, How can you say you love God that you don't see? And hate your fellow humans that you see. You can't really be a God person and not be a people person. I don't mean, listen now, I don't mean people will like you. I don't mean popular person. Listen, I, I'm not saying a God person, you can't be a God person and people will like you. I'm saying you can't be a God person, especially when we're even talking about grace, and don't have a good disposition towards people. It does not mean people will have a good disposition towards you. Get it? But the more the love of God spreads in your heart, you will have that love for fellow humans. Is that okay, everyone? It doesn't mean everybody... I'm not talking about popularity here now. I'm talking about having a heart of compassion, God's kind of love for his people. For his children, for the world at large. Because that's one thing the Holy Spirit does in you, it spreads your heart with that passionate love. Sister Lizard. Yes, there's also a saying, uh, I like what the sister says, it's also saying, Tell me who your friends, tell me who you work with, and I'll tell you who you are. Um, and this comes to me very much because um, when it says naive, I, I, that happens to me in high school. I was a good girl. I was, a, you know, obedient to the word of God. But um, at the end of the year, I had good grace. I had nothing to do. Everybody wanted to hang and I wanted to hang with them. End up, I ended up lying to my mother because of the bank company. I had to lie to her. So that's what I mean. It corrupts, you know, when I would never do, I would start lying to her because of the people that I was walking with. Obviously, I couldn't tell her what I was doing. So it would turn the good things that I do, it it just broke them down because of what I was doing, walking with the wrong people. All right. There's something I want to point. Bring the scripture up again. There's something I want to point to us. Go back to New Living Translation. There's something I want to point. Go back to King, uh, no, New Living Translation. Go to the New King James, just not New King James, King James, the original King James. There's something I want to bring out there. Let's read it. Stop there. I want to bring this word evil communication out. The problem with company is communication. Let me explain. Jesus was being accused for working with tax collectors, wine bubblers, and all the rest. But you will notice something 
it was Jesus that was communicating, not them. What corrupts good manner is who is communicating. Because let me let you know, good communication also corrupts bad manner. If not, I won't be a preacher. Is the communication who is communicating. Let your light so shine among men that they might see your good work and give glory to your father who is communicating. Because many times, the light, we the light, we run from darkness people that I don't want you to pollute my light. You are not true a light. Light, anytime it shines, we always consume darkness. No matter how small the light is in the midst of all darkness. The only problem is that many lights are not shining. Another scripture. You are the salt of the earth. You are the salt. But salt is useless if it doesn't get into the soup. The problem that corrupts what corrupts. And let me let you know, we have limited this to people. I'm sorry, no, 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 no. That's why I have to bring the word communication. It's not people. Are you watching things that is corrupting? Because it's communication. The news you are watching, we corrupt your good manner. Have you watched news? And after watching that news, fear came on you. Is the communication. Remember, evil communication We corrupt your good manner. And this is saying, do not be deceived. That communication that you're having is affecting whether some, some, some might take time. Some is immediate, but it's corrupting your good manner. There's some things you are hearing. There are some things because communication comes through words, through sights, through communication comes. There are some things that you are being communicated. You are, you know it is affecting you. It's affecting you. Listen, I've been somewhere. I've been somewhere. I've been somewhere where they were just talking about uh, uh, they were just talking about, which does not concern me. You know, they were just talking about, oh, this season, there is cold, there is this. And I don't have cold. I don't have uh, uh, allergies. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. They were talking about allergies and all the rest. I didn't have any. I didn't have all that. I didn't have. By the time I got home, I discovered that. I was sneezing. Where did this come from? If is the communication because many times when we talk about wrong company, we're always thinking, yes, people are included. We're always thinking about people, but company is whatever you are with. That is accompanying you. You're hearing. How many of you have heard not so godly music? Not so godly music. Not so godly music. I know all of you hear godly music, but you know this music is not so godly. And you were just uh, at home, maybe doing dishes, and before you know it, that music just came to your mouth and you were singing it and, and just rocking to it. But when you heard it, you liked it. It communicated to you. But you know that as a Christian... I shouldn't sing this kind of music. No, no. But you were just doing something unknowingly. The music just came to your mouth and you were rocking it. You had to call yourself back and say, ah, what is happening? Communication. Communication. That's why it says, guard your heart. What is the uh, heart gate? The ear. The sight, the feeling. 
God your heart. There are some things you are seeing. That's why it says, do not be deceived. Message translation. Message translation. Or rather, before message, give me the amplifier. Give me the amplifier. We'll go to the message. I'll come to the message. He said, do not be so deceived or what? Misled. Do you understand? Evil companionship, communion, association, corrupt, depraves, good manners and, and morals, good manners and morals, and what character? Very too important. Now, message. Message. But don't fool what? Don't do what? Don't do what? Don't let yourself be poisoned by this anti-resurrection loose talk. Bad company ruins what? Because in every company is communication. There's something that company stands for and is saying. Whether you like it or not. Let me let you know. This communication is so powerful. So powerful. You think, let me tell you, you would have gone into it. That's why if you know the money that is pumped, pumped into gay and all those stuff just to elaborate and expand the communication. Even for our young people. Because why? You cannot be deceived. You, If the communication continues, even we, the church, if we have not gotten there, God forbid, the church will begin to say, oh, well, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Why? It's the power of communication. It's the power of communication. When these words, that's why I always it detests me when we Christian, we come late to the party. Christianity is a place that we'll see when this water comes out, bottled water. The first thing we see in this bottled water is always evil. Well, it comes from the pit of hell. Ha! Don't drink bottled water. Later on in the years, we'll all be rushing to say this water is sanctified water. Don't look at me strange. TV. TV came. Everybody in the 40s and, and late 30s, we call it the devil's box. We all went against it. Now we are paying millions to go on TV. Then, in the 60s, internet came. When the internet came, come and see church. In fact, we call it the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. That Jesus is coming soon. That this is the end time sign and Jesus is coming soon. Unfortunately, Jesus has not come now. Because we thought that in the next few months, this is the last straw that would break the camel's back. This internet of a thing is the devil personified. We all ran from it. The devil took it and was using it to communicate. 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 Pass out information. And those information, they were corrupting our young people. Corrupting our people. We, the church, we stayed. As we stayed, the devil was bombarding generations with evil communication. Let's not stop there. Let me bring it home. YouTube. YouTube started. Christians were like, YouTube? Ah, God forbid for us to go online. For us to be doing church online. God forbid it. Let's come together. We must not do church online. The devil said, thank you all. Thank you for your light. All of you hiding your light. And giving me this space for my darkness. And the devil was bombarding young people. With stuff. Bombarding young people. With stuff. Now, Thank God for COVID. Because many of us, we never go online. If not COVID, 
Thank God for COVID. Now COVID came, all of us rushed online. Let me learn how to go YouTube. Uh, let me learn how to do it. How do they do it? But you were too late to the party. TikTok happened. Christians were like, TikTok? Ah, that's when you see some stupid thing, some stupid thing. The devil took it. It's a platform. When will you start communicating on TikTok? Let me drive it home. Sister Lisa, help us communicate on TikTok. Ra Ero, help us communicate on TikTok. Why? Because whether you accept it or don't accept it, all these young people are there. And all they see is what? Because we don't post anything there. We are not there. We are not there. And evil communication is corrupting their good money. Babies, from the age of six months, we keep, we give them tablet, tablet, no, 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 ma, I'm back to what I'm saying. During your time, there were a toy that you play with. Let's not come late to the party again. Don't, don't, don't look at, don't look at it as, ah, you give a young child, that is the toy and the communication for now. Generational change. It is generational change. During my time, during my time, the toy I was given, I was born in the uh, 1970s. The toy I was given was gun and police car. That was the toy I was given to play with. You cannot give those children gun and police car. That you find it in one corner. One corner, it will be there, sleeping and gathering dust. Do you understand? There were times, Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear is still in vogue, but is losing its effect. So, time goes on. It is now what they need picture and caption, attention, music, some things playing, some things moving. Or else, we will lose the generation because evil communication corrupts what? Good manner. Do not be deceived. So how do we make sure that we are communicating? So many, listen, I have watched one, one, one of those uh, teletopies. Did I get the name? Tell Teletopies. I've watched one. There was a gay introduction. I what I not they said. I watched it. A gay introduction. Uh, there's this Spanish one that has a help me that has a monkey. This girl. Dora. Dora. I have watched. I have not, they told me. I have watched. No, why? It's communication. Because in that one that I watched, the episode I watched, she, uh, one of the friends was confused whether she's male or female. And the conclusion was now told that you can be whatever you want to be. You can be, and these are kids of five years, six years. And remember, scripture said, do not go back, bring it up again, bring it up again. He said, but don't fool yourself. Don't what? Leave, give me the good news. Give me the good news. I like the two scripture. He said, do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. Why am I bringing this topic today? We are the light of the world, including our church. We sit down, just sit down. How are we influencing? The content. How are, let me tell you, that little thing that you have, 
post it on every social platform. Post it. Don't say, ah, ah me, TikTok account, I will never have it. That one you have, because whether you like it or not, people are there. Post it. Let's flood the place. I was, listen, I never liked TikTok, but one day that made me decide that TikTok, I'm very interested in it. I like TikTok now. I scroll my TikTok. A lady came up. I was talking. And was saying how she... I'm sorry, because I'm in church, I can't say what I'm about to say. Let's just leave it. But she was talking about how she has a 12-year-old daughter. How it's important that she introduced her to sex toy. It was a big, people were listening, how it's very important that he's helping her, is and come and see people clapping. It was a, she was, I think, no, don't look at, if any of us look at it and say, hey, that's, just know now, I'm calling every one of you, go on that same TikTok and post your own. Why? Because whether you like it or not, evil communication is corrupting good manners. So, Briero, whatever you have, whatever you have, go to all the social platform that there is and put it there. Nobody rejects anybody there. You won't post your own and they'll say, no, we don't want it. Because let me let you know, evil communication corrupts good man. And until we all stand up to be the good communication that will corrupt bad manner, bad manner, evil if bad manner, evil communications rather, we continue to spread to our this young generation. Every child, whether you like it or not, I have them in my house. The way they are, I will use the word addicted to their phones. It's like every as if I cannot do without it. I, I I cannot. That's why I knew when the school said, which I agree with the school, no use of phone in school. I knew it will last. Do you know I know? Based on this evil communication, corrupts good manner. When you are trying to establish a good manner and the communication is evil. It will corrupt that good manner. Even teachers and everybody will fall in line and will continue to. I was surprised a day when my son called me with his phone in school and said, Daddy, I need. Did, 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 did. Uh, the next question I asked was, uh, Are you supposed to use your phone in school? What? Watch, 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 watch now. He said, The teacher said I can call and use it. There's no rule anymore. Because the teacher was supposed to enforce the rule. Because why? That's what the front desk is for. You want to make a call? The front desk will call. We call. Hey, no, I'm saying that good communication, that good communication has been corrupted with bad, evil communication. So it cannot stand. It cannot stand. Remember, principle of getting things done. What gets talked about gets done. So, the challenge tonight, I don't want us to finish this, Brasil, every one of us shaking our head, ah, the world is going, the world is going. Don't shake your head. We don't need your head shaking. Go and communicate the good thing you have. Go and communicate it. Don't shake head. No, I don't know what is happening to this generation. What is happening to this generation is you are not doing anything. You are not communicating. 
Say, 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 say. I, I'm, I'm here laughing because on, what's today? Today's Wednesday. So I, I teach wonderful children, you know, and um, for the last two years, they've been after me to have this podcast and um, I haven't done it yet. And so they came in with a list and they called it the teacher's homework. Ms. Jennings, you need to open a YouTube business account. You need to open a Twitch, a TikTok, and all these. And you need to start going with this podcast because everyone in the world needs to hear what you're saying Amen. in this class. Amen. And so I came in on Tuesday and they said, so did you do your homework? I said, I, I lost the list. <laughs> I lost the list. I didn't do it. Um, and so I still haven't done the so, list. So you're going to do it now. So I'm laughing now because, you know, God will use all tools to make sure that you do what you've got to do. And I'm like, God, I'll get to it. I, I'm listening. I'm like, okay, so now Pastor Olu's message yeah. is that I have to get this done. Amen. Okay, so please be on the lookout. It's called Mona Lisa Facts and Fiction. Amen. Amen. So they Amen. have it all coined. Amen. They have everything. And God, I, praise I God. Uh, Sister Ellie, what is yours going to be called? What is yours, Brother Arrow? What is yours going to be called? We No. Bra no, no, no. I'm serious. I'm not. I'm serious with this. I'm serious with this. I'm serious. Sister Gloria, what is yours going to be called? Think about it. Think about it. Eh? Thank you. Why? Bra Siri can just decide that Calypso music, he wakes up. Calypso music, he puts it on there. Calypso music, you don't wake up. That Calypso music, Calypso music, I'll put it there. Calypso music. Sister Lizette, I know you have a YouTube page. Go to TikTok. Go to Instagram. Go to Facebook. Put, put them there. Thank you. Amen. Put it there. Evil come. When you put it there, please, any of you, tag me. I allow you, I will help you spread it. Tag me. I'm in all those platforms. I've entered. I'm in all of them. So tag me. And I'm trying to put church, Summit Bible Church, in all of them. So that tag Summit Bible Church. Just look for Summit Bible Church. Uh, tag us. We want, we need, why? Do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. You might think, and this is the deceit of the devil. You might think it's very far from you. That is, ah, in my own, it's not concerned. It won't touch me. Ah, nah, nah, nah. Like me as a pastor now, thinking that my children, no, it won't touch us. It's, you are, you are, do you know better than scripture? Maybe this sister Helen Nelson will be listening. Yesterday, I called her, you know, just, uh, you know, checking up on her. And this is what she told me <laughs> to do. He said, you know, there's, well, <laughs> this anointing to pray. She said, just one topic, just five, ten minutes, you know, put it on YouTube or, you know, TikTok, you know, maybe you about children or leaders or nations and things like that. You know, five, ten minutes, you know, just do it. And see how people will be sending prayer requests and all those things. And I was like, ah. <laughs> Please, yeah. all of us, listen, 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 listen. I want to end tonight. And we're going to pray now. I want to end tonight. Is a, is a, is a clarion call. Is a clarion call. Listen, we live in a society that in my estate, in your estate, you can't solicit. And that word, you can't solicit. Let's not deceive ourselves. The roof people knock my door every day. It's Christians is preaching the gospel that that thing is that. Remember, every challenge is targeted on what? Your faith. It's Christian that is targeted on, oh, uh, Solar people knock door every day. And the way they knock the door is with the audacity. They will ring your bell. There was a day the way the person, the, the confidence he used to, I had to stand up to open. 
What you discover is telling me about Ruth. But let's even take it. I don't see Jehovah's Witness anymore in our area. Normally they were, I don't see them anymore in our area. Why? They have been scared and pushed away. No problem. No problem. There's a place they don't push you away. And everybody's there. The community there is so big. And that's the internet. Do you know, listen, listen. Do you know there's something coming up? Let me tell you this. Uh, it's called it's called Omniverse. It's called Omniverse. It's a digital world. You think your kids are scrolling now. There is something to give them a digital, another life. And a digital life. Bitcoin is already preparing for the currency. Cryptocurrency, not Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency is already preparing for the currency you'll be using in that digital world. That means your child can have a two different life than this one is living and have a digital life. In that digital life, there will be everything. It can, it can be a child here now. In that digital life, it can be a boss. And you will use real money. You will take money from this real life and go and spend it in that digital life. You will meet other people. You can meet somebody from China and get married to that person in China. The person is in China, but in the digital world, they are both married. I'm not talking about something that will be. is already, is not just profound yet. The proprietor of that is Facebook. It's Facebook, Facebook that you know is popular and the money is there to push it. And wait. I know again, as I say, all of us now will be like, ah, ah, you will come late to the party again. You will come late to this party again. How can we be in that this hour? Because why? There will be very soon many things there and many people will be there. If we don't grab it now, and be in that digital world whereby the gospel can be preached in that digital world. Because why? We will still go to that party. But unfortunately, the ground would have been taken over before we now, we now tell ourselves, ah, ah, every young person, uh, just like Facebook, we hated Facebook. Now, if you don't have Facebook, you are like a sinner. A church, you are not serious as a church if you don't have Facebook or YouTube platform. Please, I beg of you, by the mercies and those of you watching, my altar call to all of us today is that Evil communication corrupts good manner. But good communication corrupts evil manner. Let's start communicating. Let's start communicating. There's something you have. I'm talking to every young person here. Every young person here. Start communicating. Is the communication, the communication, start communicating. Because why? We can't leave this planet and say this world is evil. Let's leave. We are still here. What makes us different in this place is who is talking? Who is talking? Jesus Christ said it this way. He said the Son of Man has come to seek and to save the lost. By Jesus put it again. He said 
good people that are well don't need a physician. Who needs a physician? People that are sick. Why? Because the doctor goes there with a remedy. He communicates a remedy to them. I want to encourage us. Everybody listening to me on ground and in the internet. I'm happy that I have witness here this evening who said, before I even started talking, there have been promptings. Go to the internet. Post something. I tell you, post something. Post it. Let's flood it. Repost it. When you post it in the morning, before you sleep, just repost again. Flood the place. And tag as many of us so that we can all just like, 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 so that it will come up. I want John, when he opens that, he sees this come up. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Let's just pray in the spirit. Let's pray for our generation. Father, we receive that grace. We receive the grace. We receive the grace. La de bush, the ha lebra. We are the light of the world. We shine this light. We shine this light. We are the salt of the earth. Oh, we go forth. We go forth. Le gali bradush, the ha. Le rabanzu huta. We are obedient to heaven's call. We are not just hearers alone, but we are doers of this word that has been preached tonight. We go forth to do. We go forth to do. We will communicate your life. We will communicate your light. We will communicate. You can play keyboard, record yourself. Put it there. Put it there. Put it there. You can read the Bible very well and it will look as if somebody, a angelic person is reading by. Read the Bible. Just read a verse. I have a verse this morning and you just read it and put it there. Put it there. Put it there. Lord, we are obedient. We are obedient. We're obedient. We go forth. We're obedient. We're obedient. We're obedient. We're, we're obedient to the heavenly call. We're obedient to the heavenly call. We're obedient, Lord. We're obedient, Lord. Oh, we communicate your word. We communicate your life. We communicate your love. We communicate your grace to our generation. We communicate your grace to our generation. We communicate your peace to our generation. We shine, we shine, we shine. Ila do shahaka lagada. Ila do shahaka lagada. Ila do shahaka ligaba. Ila do shakata ligada. Mela brando shaha. Le brado shakata. Ila do shakati la bala. Ila do shakati legadegede. Ila do shakata legere brado shakata. Ila do shakati le brando shakata. Ila do shakati la brando shakata. Ila do shakati la brando shakati. Ila do shakata li. Ila do shakata li gaba. We shine this light to this generation. We shine our light to this generation. We shine our light to this generation. We shine our light to this generation. Mela da da ba. Ila do shakati. Mali brado jagadi. Mela brando jagadi. Ile brado jagadi. Nika lo brado jagade, lambrado jagade, gaba zogade, lambrado jagada gada, ne la brando jagade, le palo brando jigadi, le brando jagade, gaba lo brando jagade, lambrado jagade, ne la brando jagade, le brado shaha. We shine forth, we shine forth, we shine forth, we shine forth, we shine forth. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we shine in the midst of darkness. We communicate. We reduce every evil communication. And we increase every righteous communication. In the name of Jesus. Our voice is loud. Our voice is loud. Our voice is loud. The voice of the kingdom is loud. The voice of the kingdom is loud. Le brado shakata. Le brado shakete. Lam brado shakete in Jesus mighty name we pray I make this call tonight 
anybody listening to me and you know you are not born again or you want to amend your way to Christ I want to give you that opportunity that chance to say father I know I've gone astray but I'm coming home I want to accept you as my Lord and Savior if that's your cry tonight if that's what you want to do based on what you have heard tonight this good communication that you've heard tonight. I want to give you the opportunity. Just say these words after me and I tell you, God will accept you. Heaven will accept you. We we'll love you and accept you. Just say this word. Heavenly Father, I come before you tonight. I come to receive your love. I believe you died and you resurrected for me. I received that grace of salvation. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As simple as that prayer is, if you prayed that prayer, I want to assure you, I want to let you know that you are born again. You are born again. And let us know that you prayed that prayer. We want to know. We want to know. Uh, I don't know whether the media team, uh, if you go on that advert, you will see uh, Jesus, the one text Jesus. You just see the one on that advert. If you can bring that up, uh, we want to encourage you. Just text Jesus to that number, and the text will come to your phone. And I want to encourage you click that link and fill the form there. We will contact you. Just just text that word Jesus to eight five five nine six four five one three three. Just text that word Jesus. We want to encourage you. We will help you grow in your faith. We will help you grow in your faith. Let's package our offerings tonight. Let's package our offerings tonight. You're giving. You can give through our Zelle platform. You can give through our WhatsApp. We want to encourage you. You're paying your tithe. We want to encourage you. Amen. Amen. God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we thank you for the seed sown tonight. We thank you for abundance. We thank you for abundance. We thank you for abundance. Money making ideas. Supernatural supply. Supernatural supply. Supernatural supply, supernatural supply, supernatural supply, supernatural supply, supernatural supply. Thank you, Father. Our needs are met. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Next week we'll be here. We'll still also have another topic we want to talk about. We spoke on evil communication. I want to encourage you come on Sunday. We are talking about great grace on Sunday. You would want to listen to it. And I believe as we minister, God's grace will be extended to every one of you. Amen. I want to encourage you. God's grace will be extended to you as you join that service. I want to encourage you. If you are around the area, please let's see you online. Let's see you as well. I want to encourage everyone. God bless you all. Uh, uh, good night. As we say, Summit has peace. Summit is edified. Summit is walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And Summit is multiplying. See you on Sunday. God bless you all.